So in this video, we're looking at BTC, which is uh, Bitcoin on the daily time frame, and then looking at the overall market structure from the top, we had this mass psychology activation of which is here, and then we initially pushed to the downside just because we had this nice ascending channel here at the top of the structure, which is this one here. So now we're just doing structure mapping so that we can get like a final way where the market is going on BTC USD. So we had the ascending channel and then we pushed to the downside and then we hit the 90%. And then after hitting the 90%, we created some type of a larger flag just because we are on the red zone. That is why we created this larger flag, as I always say. And then we hit the lows of which is this area here. And then after that, looking at the lower time frames, you'll see that this is a larger flag on the 90% or on the red zone also, this area here. And then after doing that, that is when we are in this area here. So we are just going to analyze that part and see if we can get like some good entries. But so far, I'm looking at this uh, area here as uh, an area of uh, value. And then this one here also was that mass psychology activation. As you can see, we pushed to the upside. Then we have this low point here. Then after having that low point, we also have like this pattern. Yeah, and then I'm just going to pattern separate just because I see that we have two patterns. This is a pattern on its own around this point. Yeah, and then we have a pattern on its own also around this point here. Yeah. But looking at the overall market structures, what I'm thinking is that we can have like a continuation pushing to the upside, reaching this point, and then initially push to the downside from there. Just because uh, the way that the market is moving or the nature of the market tells me that this is an impulse and then this is a corrective move whereby we can get the last leg pushing to the upside, mass psychology, and then we push to the downside from there. So let's just look at the lower time frame and see if we can build a picture whereby it is the way that we want it. So looking at this area here, we also have like some type of an ascending channel, as I said, like we have two patterns at the top of the structure. And then this also can be an area whereby I draw my line just like this. So we initially have like an ascending channel just like this. So I can just remove this one. And then we also had a pattern around this point here of which it's no longer useful, but you can try just draw it out so that you can get to understand like the overall market structure. And then at the top of the structure, that is where we are looking at the entry at the moment. So we have three touches at the top, as you can see. You can just use this one as your first touch, second touch. Then we have a third touch here. And then initially we had like that override, as you can see. Around this point, we had like a mini double top just around this point here. So initially what we can look for is for the market to break structures. Over which is here, we get like a clear push to the downside and then we get the first tie flag, six to eight hours, just like this. And then you can just take your drawing tool. After six hours, then you can just draw it out just like this. Then you can have your cell a few pips below just like this and then you target the lows just like this. Your stop loss can be just above here. And then you target this area for about 6%, as you can see here. And then the overall target of which is the overall 90% for this ascending channel, of which is at around 10%. So we are still on the four hour time frame. I'm just doing, I'm just building a picture so that we can get to understand what's going on here. And then looking at our entry time frame, of which is the hour time frame. Let me just remove these and then let's switch to the hour time frame. So on the hour time frame, we had that nice ascending channel. We created the double top, as you can see, around this point. And then since we created the double top, and then looking at the structures, within structures, we have this area here on the structure here. And then we also have another structure formation of which it's around this point here, of which it should be catered for, so that you can just understand and then just train your mind when these setups come up. And then we also have a head and shoulders pattern, the double top, before I forget the double top formation. Let me just do this and just drain it out and just make it look neat. 
And then we also have this left head, and then we have the right shoulder, and then we push to the downside, of which this was a nice setup. But I think still we have to push to the upside, as I said. We just have to reach like these areas here initially, just like this. Let me just remove that. We initially have to reach like this area. And then let me just push this out just like this. And then after reaching the top of the structure, that is when we can just decide on looking for those selling opportunities at the top of the structures in the right areas. And initially the thought process would be pretty simple just because uh, I'll be looking at this type of formation. This one here, for example, this one here but at the top of the structure, just like this. So this would make sense just because we are at the top of the structure, whereby this will be our POI. And then we take the cell at the top of the structure and then your stop loss can be just above this area. You target the overall lows here, just because we have two touches at the bottom. We have this touch here, we have this touch here. Then we can expect the third touch as our first target. Then the second target would be this one here for about 15. And then the overall target would be at the lows of which is this one here for about 21%. And then initially what can happen is that we can have like uh, the break of structure happening early on, early on in the move just because we already had like that double top formation or that override. So initially we can get like a clear break of structure and then the first tight flag would happen around this point here, six to eight hours, just like this. And then you can just take an entry just below here, just like this. So initially that is why we say that this taking entries around this area or this area is a risk entry just because the market is not confirmed yet that it's pushing to the downside, but taking the first tie flag, it's a confirmed entry, it's a confirmed setup whereby we target the slow here for about 10% and then targeting the overall 90% for about 17%. So it's still the same as the first one that we talked about at the top of the structure, which is this one, the stop is just above. And then let's just see, 16%. But initially when I did it, it was at around 21%. It was like this. So looking at the first target, the first entry at the top of the structure is 21%. And then looking at the second entry is 17%. So there's no much difference for you to get in at the lows of which is a confirmed entry or for you to get in at the top of the structure. So you can just wait up until you get like these two scenarios. Uh, initially, you can get like uh, the first one would be the first one that I'd like to see would be this one here, of which is the top of the structure. Or initially, I can just take this one here. So I won't be taking any entry around this area here. Rather I'd be take I'll be taking like the the tight flag or the top of the structure. So that is it for today's video. And then I'll see you on another one. And then if you took value from this video you can just drop a comment below. And then yeah I'll see you on another video.